IGCSE Biology Syllabus Statement 277B and here we're developing the idea of the control of body temperature. In our diagram here we have what is known as a negative feedback loop which is a method of control and maintaining constant conditions in the case of humans, this is the idea of our fixed point, our constant condition is a body temperature around about 37, 38 degrees centigrade. And in order for this to work, we have our receptors of body temperature. Remember, these are internal conditions. It's the hypothalamus. This is a region of the brain. And the hypothalamus responds to a stimulus, and that stimulus is the temperature of the body, and perhaps more particularly the temperature of blood. As we've already said, the fixed point we're trying to regulate around and maintain is 37, 38 degrees C. So body temperature feeds into the brain and is compared, we have a comparison to the theoretical level of control. And then if the body temperature needs to be increased or decreased, then this is brought about through the action of the effector such as the skin. The response would either be an increase or a decrease in body temperature and this would in turn feed back to the hypothalamus and on the basis of the input a new output would be produced. Let's look at this in action. This is a diagram of the skin and one of the major components of the skin for the control of body temperature of course are here we have sweat glands but also not shown too clearly here in this region here we have the capillary network which allows blood to move closer or further away from the surface of the skin. In this diagram here, the x-axis represents time and the level on the y-axis here is our 37-38 degrees C regulation point. If the body temperature increases, the input to the hypothalamus stimulates responses in the skin which bring, around, bring about cooling. One of those, of course, is sweating. And another one is illustrated by this diagram here, in which blood flow to the surface of the skin increases. So there's an increased blood flow through these vessels here. They in fact dilate, the blood vessels dilate, they widen, so we get more blood flow to the surface. And this increases the exchange of heat to the outside of the body by processes such as the evaporation of sweat and radiation. This brings about a cooling of the blood which returns the, the body temperature back to near fixed level. Of course it's equally possible that in a cold environment our body temperature will fall and this is shown by this section of the graph here, body temperature falling, these are lower than normal body temperatures and this feeds to the hypothalamus which then switches on and brings about regulation to increase the body temperature such as shivering or vasoconstriction or raised hairs. 
fact. Which forces the blood to travel deeper through the tissues and reduces the heat exchange with the external environment. Notice that the temperatures of the blood will vary up and down around the fixed point and the efficiency of the system is determined by how far they deviate from the fixed point.